Hello, um, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do a boat animation. Um, so we just going to apply an animation to these four boats. Um, so to start we want to um, explode, ex explode this boat so we just go into an explode view and we select these four boats and we're going to drag it in the Y axis. Um, somewhere right there it looks good. Um, click OK. Um, so uh, when we go into our configuration manager and click down we can see the explode view right there. We can right click on it and click collapse. Um, so the next thing we want to do now is go into our motion, motion study and we want to select the animation wizard and collapse next on um, duration time five seconds and start time at zero and we click finish um, now as you can see SolidWork has had the keyframe at five seconds for those four bolts so each keyframe represent each bolt um, so the next thing we're going to do is um, drag our timeline out and we want it about right there about right there where the boat is just starting to go into the part so we would select all four boats again you can select it on the screen by holding the control key and selecting all four boats so you can select it over here and we'll click add keyframes so now there's a keyframe for all those four boats over there. Um, so the next thing we want to do is um, drag our timeline back to zero. Um, no, we can leave it at, at that key point. So what we want to do is click on on the motor, and we want to apply a rotary motor to this to this boat. So we're just going to click on that bolt, that circular edge, and we can either switch which direction we want the bolt to rotate. I'm just going to leave it that way. And I'm going to um, leave it on constant speed, how um, RPMs, I'm just going to do 15 and I'll click OK. So now, now SolidWorks had the rotary motor. But the thing with the motor is now if I play uh, the rotary motor is starting in the beginning so you can see the boat is rotating from the beginning but we don't want that we want the boat just to rotate start rotating once it gets into this part so what we're going to do is um, drag this rotary motor over here and um, so now which means it starts over there so what we want to do is right click on it copy and drag our timeline to to five seconds right click paste so now we have our timeline here if we hover over it we'll see that the rotary motor is on is on at that key point but at this key point is also on so we're gonna right click on that key point and we're gonna select off so we want it off at that key point so so let me hover over it it should be off so I'll just recalculate everything so as you can see the bolts are coming in and at that key point it starts rotating that's exactly what we want um, so we're pretty much done so the next thing we want we can do is set up our camera so we right click on camera scenes lights camera and scene add the camera and I'm just just for the sake of time I'm just going to set a quick camera up something if I right there maybe it's zoom in and I'm going to select um, let me drag my timeline down and maybe just select 16 by 9 and I click OK. So I'm worried now I might have had my 
camera um, so let me go down just to make sure oh, okay my camera is there so the next thing I'm going to do is um, is already on the camera view so I want to make sure it's on the camera view so just in case if you add your camera and you don't see just right click on the camera and make sure make sure this is checked um, so the next thing we want to do is just recalculate this um, again the screen is breaking out of our camera view so we're going to um, just right click on this and select disable playback of view keys so now when we go back into our camera view everything should stay the same I'm gonna recalculate again um, good so I'm just going to do save I'm going to um, browse to the file location where I want to save it I just save it on my desktop um, Microsoft AVI regular SolidWorks screen I'm going to select 15 frames per second and click save the entire animation save uh, compressor okay um, do I want to recalculate before saving I click yes and now everything should save um, is saving the animation and I will show you what it looks like once it's done okay so now our animation is done uh, so the next what we're gonna do now is just browse to our file location um, my desk desktop and I'm just going to click play and you should see the animation so that's basically how you do a boat animation um, thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment or if there's any other way you recommend doing this animation please let me know thank you bye